G'day. If you want to find the answers, your three-year-old probably knows where to find them. G'day. 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 Greetings from Coventry, the last day here of the Spa Life Conference. I've got my little speech coming up in about half an hour or so, so I better get going. But this idea of, of finding answers is something that's always fascinated me. And the funny thing is that you realise as adults, we seem to spend our whole life looking for answers, but we kind of forget how to find them. But if you look at a three-year-old who wants to learn something, how does he find the answer? He just keeps asking why. But why, mummy? But why, mummy? But why, mummy? Doesn't matter what answer you give, it's the same question. But why, daddy? And I think that's something that we forget as adults. We just don't ask why enough. And some of the smartest people that I've ever met are the people that in a new context, in a new environment, seem to be the dumbest person in the room. They're comfortable being the dumbest person in the room because that encourages them to ask why. And ultimately, of course, they leave the room being smarter. So I think this idea of asking why, I mean, that's where the answers lie. The answers lie down a rabbit hole of whys. You've just got to keep asking why, 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 until you get to the end of the answer and there's no more whys left to, left to ask. At that point, you've probably got the answer. So if you want to know how to find the answers, if you want to know where to go, just go and talk to a three-year-old. They'll probably teach you exactly how to find it. Alrighty, that is it for today. I do thank you for your time and I will be back again tomorrow. See ya. Why do the baby star? There's enough food to feed the world.